Hey guys, I've been doing so many things with lithium iron phosphate batteries that it kind of feels a little weird to go back to lithium ion batteries. These are some 2013 Nissan Leaf batteries and a company offered to send me this Dally BMS a few months ago. And I was quite excited because I haven't been offered such a high quality BMS before. I was going to put this battery together and bring out my 24 volt pure sine wave inverter from Illinois, but I couldn't find that anywhere. And so I don't have any 24 volt stuff now, which is a little bit of a shame. So this is, I forgot the manual is digital. So this is a 24 volt, 200 amp BMS. And it has Bluetooth capability. It has also some other things that came in it. This uh, Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth, USB and UART adapter. That's kind of interesting. And I also asked if they had any stickers. And they sent me stickers. Look at that. I think that's that was really charming. So I felt bad. Like, they were so nice. And they sent me these. And I wish I could use it. But... This is the kind of thing that I would use for a small electric car. For instance, my city car. My city car uses 48 volts, but it turns out it actually has a split winding for the motor. And if I were to run those two in parallel and have them run by a motor controller, it might be 24 volts. This thing's pretty substantial as well. At first, I was wondering if maybe this was inset wrong, but this is actually potted. So when I took it apart, I did have an issue of damaging the um, heating pads, but it looks like this is just was pressed down, but that won't really cause an issue. We have a fan. We have the power minus, battery minus. I love this heat sink. It's a very weighty very heavy duty thing okay even though I don't have anything to power with it I say let's connect it up to this and we can we can see what it does so you see we have the USB adapter we have Wi-Fi RS485 UART and Oh, right, this is connected to that. I forgot. Now, that's a pretty cool adapter. But this is the voltage detection for the individual cells or the balance leads. I really like that little spacer that they add. That's really cool. JQL. I now have the main power leads connected and they have quite a sturdy connection. You know, this is the type of BMS I would have wanted 10 years ago on the YouTube channel. This is, <laughs> we're, we're really spoiled with the modern technology. I have it all hooked up loosely, not enough for 200 amps of use. And I, I don't have anything that uses 24 volts anymore, so I can't do that anyway, but I'm just gonna stare at it again and make sure I connect it up right. And then we can plug it in and see if I'll blow it up. Ooh, when I plug it in, it went green. Okay, let me, Oh, it did. Look at that. I'm going to try the Overkill Solar app, see if it picks up anything. Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought that USB cable went to this. Now this plugs directly in. Okay, let's plug that in. Okay, so apparently the, the app you want is Smart BMS. It's not coming up with the other ones. I'm still going to see if that's an issue with that. Let's see what their app is like. Oh, okay. Don't allow. Okay. Okay. Don't allow.
Oh, I disconnected it and reconnected it. So apparently you need to have this connected before you power it up. Let's check out Overkill Solar. Does it detect it? It detects the battery over there, but does it detect this one? Doesn't appear so. Let's try the Saosang BMS app. No. Let's try BMS tools. No. Mm, no. Smart BMS, it does detect it. Okay, so everything's at 50% charge. Really? Huh. Fascinating. I guess I really have kept this at 50%. 15 amp hours. Well, I'll have to configure that because these are much bigger cells. That's interesting that these cells are all about the same voltage. They've traveled across the, across the country and they're all at about 3.65 volts. That's pretty funny. Interesting. So you can actually do an active balance. That's pretty useful because then I could actually use that to balance the individual packs. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I could make this run on lithium iron phosphate batteries. Let's see. Six times 3.6 volts equals 21.6 volts. So you could actually have this still be 22 volts, which isn't super useful, but you could have a six series lithium iron phosphate if you really wanted. And you do get control over this. Cell characteristics. Hmm, just said a password. The password is probably on here somewhere. See, it's probably something that would be easy to guess. You know what? I bet that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, it does. Look at that. It does do lithium iron phosphate. Oh, okay. I'm a little excited about this. A little bit excited. I might have a use for that. I, oh, I just wish I had a use for 20 volts. Okay. This is pretty cool because I have a company sending me lithium iron phosphate batteries and either I could use it with that or I could use it with these. State of charge set, 50% balance, open start voltage. Oh, there's actually more. Collect board settings. Temp protection. System settings. I love. I finally get to have one of these BMSs that you can program. I really love that. Cell voltage, high protection. Bounce, open, start, voltage. I like that with this, you could actually set the voltage to 3.9 volts or something low such as that. High protect. Okay, okay. I like messing with batteries whenever they're not fully charged because less chance of burning down the whole block, especially with these big, big batteries. This is cool. And you also get control over the charging and discharging. So it doesn't quite know what the voltage is or what, what the state of charge is because apparently you want to connect it up and then fully charge it and then it'll reset that. So that makes sense. It, it does keep an onboard tally of 512 kilobytes memory. And 
Oh, this is exciting. I just wish that I had a use for it right now. See, all of these lithium iron phosphate batteries that I have, those would be great for boating because I wouldn't want to drop lithium ion batteries in water. Lithium iron phosphate, they're more common right now. I also don't really want to make a vehicle with these because I kind of worry about getting into a crash. And so I might want to transition to using this for a 20 volt setup on lithium iron phosphate. And I have a big battery coming in that should have a bunch of like 30 amp hour cells. So I can maybe put six 30 amp hour cells together and we can see what we can do with that. Another thing I'm curious about, can you tell it to only use a few of the uh, connections? So for instance, with this, I could turn it down to a 12 volt BMS. And that would be really, really good. I'm not seeing it. Board cell number. Oh, you might, you know what, let's, let's see. That did. So now it doesn't count the last cell. So I could actually do that with, I'm gonna go back to um, six, but you could, oh, oh, that, okay, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, you, you could set it to six. Oh, amazing, so I could actually modify. I really like this BMS. This has six leads, or seven leads, it can do six series, but it could also do lower, like three series or four series. Well, shoot, that is so cool. I imagine there might be a, a lowest limit that it can do, such as 12 volts. So it might need a minimum of 12 volts. So like in this case, three cells, but that might also be similar to, I imagine with um, lithium iron phosphate, you wouldn't want to go lower than four series, but yeah. Okay, that is pretty versatile. And here I was worried that I wouldn't be able to use it because I've been stuck in that mindset of having those preset BMSs, you know, that you'd get 10 years ago for an e-bike. And they were preset to have like 13 series for lithium ion for a 48 volt battery pack or something like that. But this, okay, I can work with this. So now we're back up to six. really like that well guys that's just a quick little look because i felt bad that i've been sitting on that for two months and i've been busy with so many other things i've been so tired too and i'm glad that i took a look at that because now i, I realize that there actually are more things that i can use that for i'm a little bit excited you know i have a little bit too many battery things going on but my channel has always you know it's it's it's, it's kind of a bit of um another golden era for my channel because a lot of you guys like whenever there was too much battery stuff going on or, or the era where there was too much building a workshop going on and currently I'm kind of assembling a workshop so that's pretty good. I just built that recently. It's a, uh, it's a corral for all my flat stuff. Well guys, I am really happy with this. It, this is a pretty versatile BMS I've seen a lot of people use these, like, um, oh, what's that, the solar shed guy or whatever. Uh, he's in Australia, I think. And, um, yeah, this is cool. I just wish that I had more uses for these. Right now, I'm accepting any battery and any promotion that I can get because, you know, I can always sell them later. That's, that's some of my income. Or I can do stuff with them. But right now, I have a little too much stuff going on. I don't, I'm excited though. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. See ya.